There can only be one winner. The winner. Five minutes to go and a salmon is still in the oven, but my timer hasn't gone off. <gasps> the timer didn't go off. Can you believe that? I am just praying, praying to the heavens above that my salmon is not overcooked. You have 60 seconds left to serve the best signature dish you've ever cooked in your life. I began to feel as though the risotto could have done with a little bit more time and a little bit more wetness. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up. Step away from your benches. Good job. <gasps> oh, man, that was stress. Didn't think I would make it, but it's done and we've all got plates on the table. We did it. The moment of truth. Matt, George and myself will call you up individually and taste your food. And then we will decide on a winner, the person who goes through into round two with that advantage. The first dish we'd like to try is Ryan's. I'm not really nervous about what the judge is going to say. As long as they don't absolutely can it, no, I feel really embarrassed. Ryan. Happy? Yeah, always feel good about food. <laughs> All right, let's taste. Good pasta, tastes nice, it's nicely seasoned, and it's delicate, it's soft, and it's got a little bit of a bite in, so that's a good job on that. Bolognese is nice and tasty, and you can taste all those components, so they come through. What I don't like about it, bolognese should be cooked for longer for me. Other than that, it's a good spag bowl. Great, thanks. Well done. Thank you. I think the sauce has got all the right ingredients in it, but actually it just needs a lot more olive oil, all right? That's the, the, the yummy part of a bolognese. But great job with the pasta, well done. In short, I love the pasta. Excellent example of good pasta that could sit on any restaurant menu. In terms of the bolognese, it's big, it's earthy, it's real. So well done. Thank you. I'm pretty happy. I've come away with some good feedback and pretty confident that I've, I've cooked a good dish. As I walk to the front of the room with my two dishes, I'm really nervous. I know the level that the judges expect, and that's quite high. So, Rachel, mm -hmm. you did two dishes. I did. Had you bitten off more than you could chew? Um, no, I'm proud that I did the two. Let's try it. Let's try the salmon first, shall we? What do you want it to look like? A little bit pink on the inside. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, pretty happy, <laughs> I think. I think you've cooked that salmon perfectly. You've. Overcooked the skin a little bit, got a wee bit over, but you know what? It tastes beautiful. It tastes fantastic. What you got here is crepes that are Moorish and they're tasty and they're yum and they make, make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside when you eat them. And what you've demonstrated is, is chefy skills. Crepes, crepe patissiere. I'm gobsmacked to be able to put two dishes up in an hour and a half. Wow. Thank you. I'm so relieved it's over. I'm happy with what I've cooked. I'm happy with the judges' comments. I'm feeling really good. George, you're the last one up. Bring your dishes. As I walked up to confront the judges, I was hoping that they didn't think that what I'd done was awful.
You've done an incredible job to not overcook the oyster. And I was actually a bit concerned about the parmesan overpowering the oyster, but it's actually quite nice. It's had this sort of saltiness to it. So well done, and also well done in shucking them. I think that's very commendable. George, the moment of truth. When you eat risotto, you should never be left with a chalky residue in your mouth. It should be al dente, which means there's a slight bite to it, but it's still soft and it's still giving, and it goes. It's a little bit chalky. However, in saying that, the flavour, the basil, you certainly got the basil flavour in there. It's really strong, there's parmesan, the pine nuts are a nice touch. I like it, you've done a good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Good lamb, good salad, sweet, but risotto's a fail for me. If I was cooking to impress them enough for them to give me a job, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get it. George, Rachel, Ryan, tasted your dishes. Well done, good effort. The nice thing to see today was the fact you were concentrating. There was some seriousness in the kitchen. George, firstly with yours. We know you've got a bit of a reputation for your risotto, and now we find out you've got a reputation for your oysters negus. Nice to see that you put together a beautiful looking meal. Good job. Thank you. Rachel, beautifully cooked salmon, lovely crepes, takes a bit of skill. Good job. Ryan, classic spag bowl. Your pasta was beautifully cooked. You made it with your own hands. Can't ask for better than that. And the sauce, you can see all the vegetables through it, strong in tomato, it's gutsy. And like you say, the boys, they love it. Well done. But there can only be one winner. The winner is Rachel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a surprise. I cannot believe the judges picked me. I'm the winner, the only girl. Go, girls, woohoo! Rachel, fantastic. You walk into the kitchen in stilettos and everyone here goes, oh no, and this is a real kitchen. We want to see people cook, and that's what you did today. You cooked two dishes with excellence and precision. Well done. <laughs>